All right. Well, um, like the previous video, uh, we talked about James Coley becoming the new wide receivers head co- or wide receivers coach. Uh, now Del McGee has left, gone to Georgia State, become the head coach of the Panthers. Uh, good for him. And now Georgia stole another coach, but this time it wasn't from South Carolina. It was from in state of Georgia, stolen from Georgia Tech, Josh Crawford. Um, I wrote a blog about Crawford. Um, I didn't know anything about him when I didn't either. Uh, when I saw his name, and honestly, whenever I saw it, I kind of was like, "Who? What?" It didn't make any sense to me. Um, then I looked him up. I listened to him talk, and I was like, "Oh wow, no, this guy's actually really good, and he's young. He's like a younger version of Del McGee." Um, big fan of him. I think this is a uh, you know I don't want to get over my skis here, but I think it is a home run hire. Um, and he's young and he can recruit in state. I mean, he's coached some of the biggest programs in the state of Georgia. So, uh, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, similar to yours, I didn't know a whole lot about the guy, but um, obviously, coaching big time high school football in the state of Georgia, um, recruiting, uh, having those connections at the high school level in the state, I think it is huge. Um, I also think. Coming from Buster Faulkner's program, um, Buster Faulkner was under Munkin. Probably, you know, there's there's some overlap there uh, in terms yeah. of probably philosophy and stuff like that. So, you know, I and but the guys never coached. Now he played white. I mean, uh, running back in high school, right, or maybe in college too. But I don't think he ever. I don't think he's ever coached running backs at a ma- at a major college level. So. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll tell you. So, Crawford was a running backs coach at Greater Atlanta Christian. Uh, he was also a tight end coach. Then he went to Jefferson, which is up the road from Athens. Uh, he was the head coach, assistant head coach, and offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Then he went to Colquitt, uh, won two state titles and a national championship in 2015. Um, he was also the offensive coordinator. Uh, and quarterbacks coach there. Uh, then he went to Lee County, won another state title. Um, he was the passing game coordinator and wide receivers coach. Then he went to Valdosta, um, was a quarterback coach, offensive coordinator there. And then he was uh, at Colquitt in 2020, where he was the offensive coordinator. And then he went to Western Kentucky in 2021 and 22. What did he coach at Western Kentucky? Uh, well, he coached wide receivers, but it was outside wide receivers. And then he coached, he was the co-office coordinator, um, too. So Tech, he was wide receivers coach, right? Tech, he was wide receivers coach. And Tech fans were celebrating that Georgia didn't steal him. But, you know, now they didn't think that he was going to become the running back coach. He played running back at Morehouse. Kirby was a uh, running backs coach in 2005 for Georgia. So, I get it. I'm not too worried about that, and, you know, uh, I, I know I talked a lot, but um, the running backs, I you know, I don't know if it's coaching. I don't think it is because, you know, I think you're dealt with what you're dealt with, and I think they, you know, um, last year's running back room was fine. It was serviceable, um, but we need better running backs, and I think – this recruiting class that was brought in, I think they're pretty good. Um, and and the addition of ETN and hopefully Branson Robson, hopefully he'll be back to uh, what he was toward the end of the 2022 season. Um, but running back is a, you know, it, it, I thought it was the difference from winning a national championship. One of the many reasons why Georgia didn't win a national championship. Uh, <coughs> well, yeah, I would say last year was probably one of the thinner years that Georgia's had at running backs. So when I say thin in terms of talent, production was pretty good. But, I mean, a game-changing back, a, a, a back that can take over a game, Georgia probably hasn't had one of those since DeAndre Swift, right? And so um, – and I know that wasn't that many years ago, but then again, it kind of was. And well, so- well, wait, game-changing, you had Zamir White and James Cook in 21, and that was – I know. I look. I, I know it wasn't like a home run every single time they weren't going to take over a game, but that added, to, huh? Yeah. 
It was a good duo. For sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a choke. Mm-hmm. I think Kenny Mack was uh, was one of the more well rounded backs, talented guy. I, mean, I think he's he one of the most underrated Georgia running backs that ever has come through. I mean, the guy ran for a thousand yards and caught for a thousand yards in one year. That I mean, that's a that's huge. I mean, that's a massive amount of offensive production. A big part of that offense, dude. Made huge it go. part. Yeah. Huge part. Sorry, go ahead. No, I would just – but in in terms of, you know, we haven't had the backs like Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle and the DeAndre Swiss. We've done it by – and that may be modern era football. We've done it by, you know, um, committee, but there hasn't been a dominant – we've had good backs. Don't get me wrong. Kendall Milton was a good back. Uh, Dejan was a good back. Yeah. Uh, but dominant, like what what you're accustomed. Georgia's always been known as RBU, right? They were yeah. they were fast becoming LBU. But I think we, it's time for I think we're both saying the same things. Let's let's go get a let's go get some studs. And this guy Crawford, if he knows the state of Georgia, there's a lot of good backs that come out of out of here. And I don't yeah. know. I don't know enough about these kids that we've recruited. I know Branson Robson, if he can stay healthy and is healthy, I think he can be a stud. And uh, obviously, ETN coming in has the experience of playing in the league. He's got a Crawford's not walking into a uh, into a terrible situation. No, uh, so just don't screw it up and recruit some hosses. Yeah, uh, and look, I like. I think I'm a big fan of Nate Frazier, who's coming in. He's a freshman. I, I think he's going to be. He is like a DeAndre Swift, watching tape of him. Um, so we'll we'll see. I mean, there's some other guys that have been brought in. Um, Georgia brought in what? We brought in three guys, right? I don't know. That, is it one guy by, by the name of Phillips that's really fast? Is that who I'm thinking of? Uh, Dwight Phillip? I think so. That, I'd watch some of his film. That guy could scoot, man. I mean, he's he's a pretty dynamic guy in high school, but I think he's smaller, so he'll be more of a I don't know, sort of one of those thunder and lightning type guys. Uh, he'll yeah, be the uh, I mean, there's Chauncey Bowers, who's a three star. Uh, nationally, he was uh, a forty over a uh, fortieth ranked running back. Um, he's from North Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, he's five ten and he two twenty seven. He's a low. He's thick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then there's Nate Frazier, who's from Modern Day. Shout out JT Daniels. Uh, he's five nine two oh six. He's the number two uh, running back in the country. Guy can he can move. Um, and then the guy that you were talking about, Dwight Phillips, five uh, eleven. 170, uh, ranked 21st in running backs uh, from Mableton. Uh, I, I, yeah. 5'11", 170, when he gets on campus for, you know, um, he'll be at, he'll be playing at 186, 190, something like that. Probably he'll put on a good 18 to 20 pounds. Yeah. So it's, not a, it's not a small guy, but, uh, yeah, he's smaller yeah. Out, out of the three. For sure. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, those guys are all, you know, top 50 running backs in the country. Um, hopefully, and I think everyone's high on Nate Frazier. And I, I, you know, I think he is, I think he's worth the hype. We'll see. I, I think he's that difference maker that we've been talking about. I think he's the difference maker in the passing game. I think he's the difference maker in the running game. So, um, We'll see. But, yeah, I think he's uh, – Josh Crawford, I think he fell into a pretty good situation. I think he knows that. He graduated from Georgia in 2012. Uh, he got his uh, graduate degree from Georgia. So, he understands probably what, you know, the Georgia fan base is. He probably went to games with Georgia, I would have to imagine. Um, so, I think he's a pretty good coach, and Tech was high on him too. So well, he's going to go to a stadium that's pretty much sold out for all their home games. To just uh, be quite different for him than it was last year. Well, yeah, bless their hearts. I feel bad for him. All I right. Uh, I don't feel bad for him. Um, all right. Well, uh, that's it for this video. Check out Don the Dog. Um, and for your shipping needs, go to Union Shippers Atlanta. And who are you shouting out this time? Uh, we'll go with Holland Martin. All right. Well, shout out Holland. All right. See ya.